Just get up and do things on them people and them things. It will look bad for you as a CEO. And I saw it. Because me blame Joe and the whole fraternity around it. And general, I don't see it so, but that's how me see it. See? Because me know, so we used to keep show. And me see how we keep show. I'm on like, do of those people that have like... There was no bounty. There was no peony. There was no Caperton. There was no Sisla Kalanji. There was no Anthony B. There was no Movado. There was no Popcorn. You got your phone? Call him, Mister. Who will this, Mister? Who will this? Who will this? Who will this? Blessed day my people say so in today's video we have a few things to talk about and one of them is dancehall artist General B who went live on Instagram and he was fairly upset as it relates to certain things that happened on Reggae Sunfest right now him and a few other entertainers you know so them did perform at night one Reggae Sunfest what about Jigzy King and some other people Ronald you don't know the whole Monster Shark crew and them did do a tribute to Boom Dandy right right my people so it's like him and say yo the time when them get to perform enough people never forward at the venue yet you understand but yet still when them perform and them have established careers you have some other entertainers where don't establish like them forward after them you understand me i say so basically i look against the timing and also him at all about like the, the the place where them put them for stay you know it it, it never look good and a whole heap of things them at all my people so i'm gonna actually play that video so you can hear what i go on separately from that we're gonna talk about footer hype going live and speaking on reggae sunfest not booking certain entertainers like pop can you don't know so spice never dip on it bounty beanie you understand footer hype feel like reggae sun face make a wrong mistake by using so much of well me no want to say my fight against young youth them because him not fight against them but he must say a lot of the veteran artists them should have dip on it as well you understand me as some people so me don't know if you're not agree but you don't know footer hype speak or him feel footer hype did even say tj up top boss take the show i'm one if you not agree with that because some people are say massacre some some people have said Tommy Lee Sparta and of course some people have said TJ up top boss and since we are talking about TJ TJ make a post on him IG page and the post is about who take reggae sun face right and him make it be known say him now go back and forth with nobody as it relates to who take reggae sun face you understand I think TJ is very confident in his performance and you don't know a lot of persons are big him up feet so I have shown you the post and only can tell me what you in the comment section is it and Jada Kingdom perform at night too a lot of persons are bash the outfit where she come out in them and say boy it seem like her body she has selling them thing there so i take a look at the comments them and only can tell more anything you understand but as it relates to night two people must say a lady sir uh, minister marian hall actually take the show on know so she followed out and she gave out the bibles and them thing there so what we'll talk about all of that right my people but before i'm gonna further into the topics don't forget for like share and subscribe also make sure you head over to my instagram page mix up time four but i definitely appreciate that right my people all right so the first thing we're gonna talk about is general b right and as me say him are one of the persons that my perform at reggae sunfest night one now him never like the time where them get zine my people you don't know eight of them did actually a perform right and you know the and it was like a 90 segment and them they do a little tribute to boom dandy might and all of that right my people but you don't know with all of them entertainers that were there on stage you know see them have a whole heap of hit songs so the little short time where them get for perform general b never like that plus the time when them did get for perform was early hours you understand so i think general b feel a way how them get fair 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 perform such in at the early time but some artists were not established yet a perform after them now it's not a case like general be a fight against the young artist them or certain artists because he might make it be known same so respect every artist but you know i'm not speak or i'm feeling you know i can't even blame the man you understand me some people also them never like which part them get to stay the accommodation and trust me them attack up the things Ronald was also there with general b and Ronald was more vocal than general b but you don't know him still they try him all him compose a certain way but anyway my people me could get to this video now and only can tell me if you don't agree with what general b is saying you see my people listen to this then i know everybody here about the 90s badness but consists of general b Ronald. Nitty Kochi, Harry Tadla, Tony Curtis, Jigsy King, Mega Bantan, and Ricky General. Eight icon on the stage one time. But tell me, you know, why you can have eight icons? We have so much eight songs. 
and he is still you have to put the man on the stage 10 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock when nobody at all in the land. Don't forget that most people don't come and dance. I'm still at 10 o'clock in the night. I mean, people start to come and dance from like 12 o'clock in the special stage show. You know what I'm saying? Stage show kind of different from dancing. You know what I'm saying? Stage show, one thing I got till like 8 o'clock in the morning. So you know, say, you have enough time. You know what I'm saying? But you have artists on the lineup where I have a kind of limited time that so every man can correspond with, with, with each other. But when I think about artists, you know, we're, we're well established, you know what I'm saying? But of them career, I do the work for 30 ideas, some of them 20 ideas, you know what I'm saying? And you, and you go, um, put them on one of the greatest shows of all time, and you go put them on 10 o'clock. The amount of people that call my phone and say, General B, oh, them can have so much top artists for some fest. 11 o'clock in the night, and after 11 o'clock, when them take one off of the stage, we see them put on artists, when nobody don't know, and not only that, them play music for one hour straight, and tell them, say, we don't have limited amount of time. You know what I'm saying? Um, in, 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 in a, every business, you have a, is, is an organization, because you know one man around them. So if you're talking, you can't just say, yo, John, Joe Bogdanovich. It's an organization you have people in a different, different department. So you have a man in the department who deals with the artist. Then. You, have, you, have, you have a balance to that. You have a man who deals with the stage manager and him go wrong for the side. So there's so much department they wrong in a, where it goes behind your concert. You know what I'm saying? A man who book the hotel, they go aware, wrong. Behind him awareness. Accommodation. Then the, depa wrong. the department and the hotel, the person who deals with that. They go down the class. You know what I'm saying? And probably Joe don't know that. You know what I'm saying? So, you have a man who has a deal with the stage manager, but you have a stage manager, you have to communicate with him and say, listen. General, that's what you know. You see, more than you know, I talk a way where it's going to mess with what you're saying. But you know You cannot run an organization and pick up people and put them in place while you don't know them. So, if it's even if you know them for a full day, you try to have them only for two days. So, you say, I want to light on the phone. Then, they like walk up and down and you say, I'm going to have them walk around and around. It doesn't make that one day on the phone. That one they like selling, you put them there a piece. You can't just get up and do things on them people at them thing. It all look a bad but you as a CEO. And I saw it, can me blame Joe and the whole fraternity around it. And general, no see it so, but that's how me see it. See, because I know, so we used to keep show. And me say, oh, we keep show. I'm on like dozens of those people that have like a criminal, then we like call it. See, I see him keep sure, I see it organize more than enough man we are law man and enough man we are businessman put them things together. See, so he have a different meditation than enough of the man, and that makes it Joe go wrong. Yeah, and that's how I see him go wrong. Or it's like, if, if, if you don't go wrong, him directly don't rate the 90s artists that when he put on the platform. Here's some more things that plan. We have a tribute yeah. to the Boom Land Man. Boom Land Man schedule for perform and some fest. And then first major show, Boom Land Might. And unfortunately, Boom Land Might pass away. And as we are to say, we, have, we as the 90s artists, we have to keep the thing in the direction, the music, the way it's supposed to go. You know what I say? And, and people, only when I hear now, a we, I get the comments when people are complaining and say, yo, again, we can't have so much big artists at work, and then after the big artists are work, we not call it, because we never sound like bad boy artists, you know. You get me? I respect every artist, you know. But you have to know so you have certain status when you're going on music. You know what I'm saying? At certain levels. There's levels to the game. There is levels to the game. And when there is levels, then you have, you have, you have to respect that. You have to acknowledge acknowledgement. And you have to respect the achievement. You know what I'm saying? Always, have, always remember that. But that's what my fans have know, sir. Last night, at some place, everything with the promotional team at some place go around with 90s artists. The year me and me with them put it at the worst place. The hospitality at the worst scene, the treatment that they show, they always woke up and they show everything at the worst. For people like we, where you yeah, look like them, they look like somebody where, as some mini worker people, as some big great people in my life, you know, where don't feel like you have to put up on some place to start to be, you know. I don't see what they're not going to do. I try to rise at the next bar. I don't know, 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 I don't
it just don't look appropriate. I'm not believing in it, bro. It may not think it, uh, if it allows. All right, my people. So after listening to what General B had to say, I wonder if you not agree or not, Zane. Um, I don't feel like so the lineup was wrong as it relates to Reggae Sunface. I don't feel like them should have deal with the lineup better and make like some of them veteran artists here more up, like in a day, what, 12 o'clock bells and them time there. I don't feel like so them get the time where them forget because the younger generation, them want more push them out there and stuff like that. Even though enough of the young artists, them not telling up plain and straight, them can't really rock the crowd like how them 90s artists you can rock it is it my personal opinion that car when you put bunty and beanie capleton and them artists up on a stage <laughs> Ah, oh boy, you know, pretty. You yeah, see, the man them always mash it up. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about footer hype. And as I say, footer hype went live yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I did, yeah. Yesterday, I'm actually got live, right, my people? And the man do a live for about three hours. And during that live, he spoke on Reggae Sunfest, the performances, the outfit, all the things him speak on. See, I wish I could have played the whole live, but unfortunately, I can't do it. Now, one of the things that my footer hype talk about is the type of artist them were there now, right? And some of the artists them were missing from it, like him talk about Popcorn, which is one person who him feel like should have been there, even if a 300,000 him did a charge, Joe Bogdanovich should have actually give him that, you understand, and try to split the money more evenly, and him talk about Sean Paul should have been there, and they don't know him talk about um, some other things as well. I mean, even did see a post over upon This Is A Blast page, which I'm read a post here, and after me read a post here, I'm actually play the live with footer hype at all about some artists where him feel like should have did and stuff like that and they don't know him kind of make reggae sunfest know which part them go wrong anyway the poster say sunfest are upset me yeah tell me them i keep big dance all night and no spice this is crazy reggae sunfest where is alkaline Craft, Malidan, well, we see say Malidan, they get called out by TJ. Raja Wild, Spy, Shensia, Shanil Muir, Skeng, Skilly Bang, and Dexter Daps. No, sir, this really upsetting. By the way, some of the artists should be on Saturday and not Friday. Why would you put Jada Kingdom on night two? No, man, this is like joke with Joshi. Shake my head. Them need to see this because them booking sick me. Who wants him mighty crown and dance all night? Shake my head, kiss me teeth, post for me, ah. Yeah. So that person is very upset because, you know, whole heap artists with them call should I really depend on it. And them actually make a good point. Now we're going to move to what Footer Hype has to say, my people. And this might be like a two part live because I have a next part where Footer Hype has speak on the girl named Mayan and I said that she never do a good job as it relates to work in the crowd and thing. But anyway, my people, listen to this. I am saying, if you are not going to use international, international artists then, how we don't have any international Jamaican acts on the show? The casting of the show was very evil to the brand. Make we, make we, be, make, make we speak now, right? Make we speak. There was no bounty. There was no beanie. There was no Caperton. There was no Sisla Kalanji. There was no Anthony B. There was no Movado. There was no Popcorn. There was no Alkaline. There was no Assassin. There was no Busy Signal. There was no Josie Wheel, no Charlie Chaplin, no Supercat, no Shabba, no Maxi Priest, no Freddie Gar McGregor, no Ken Booth, no Barry Salmon, no Buju, no Wayne Wanda, no Baby Sham, no Vegas, no Elephant Man. Do you realize that there was three tier a dance hall we're missing? Only realize because remember, you have tears like a football team, you have the goalkeeper, you have the defense, you have the forward, you have the wingman. Them, so why was the show empty? Oh, Freddie did it tonight. Well, Freddie did it tonight. There was no Sean Paul, no Charlie Blacks. I don't know who they're on the flyer, I'm gonna see flyer now. No Sean Paul, no Charlie Black, no conscience, no, I don't know.
Something not right. No Junior Gang. No Steve Amali. Me, me not understand. And the budget there. there. Can the budget bigger now? Can you not book Beyonce and not book Chris Brown them? You not book Usher them? So why last night so Fubble double me not understand? Not do one and not govern. The era. Why wasn't Popcorn book for some first? Why? Why Popcorn? Say Popcorn had charged 300,000 or 250,000 US. You could have paid him. You could have paid him. You could have paid him. If busy signal even not charge 150 grand, you could have pay him 100 grand, 150, you can pay him. 200, you can pay him. If Sean Paul did the same thing, you can pay him. All right, my people. So, when you have a foot of for say, I want to know think that Reggae Sunface should have done a better job and get some more, you know, different artists on it. And certain artists who them did put on the show, them shouldn't put on the show, you understand? Of course, you don't know everybody got to have their opinion because same way all... <laughs> Me a footer hypes or something about the artist Pablo YG. Of course, when Pablo YG make a post over upon him IG page, you know people over there gas him up and I tell him say, yeah man, one this and yep. You know people are big him up same way and footer hype never like him performance. You understand me? I say my people. So as me say everybody I got have them opinion car. Me say um Masika baby mother. In a Pablo YG comment section, I big him up. So, I don't know my people. Only can tell me when you think about a foot hype. I say, and if you don't feel like them should have spent some more money and get some more artists and some better artists and them thing. They Joe Bogdanovich have the money could have booked all of them actually. Is it? Anyway, my people, let me know when you think. I remember me telling you, say, I have an expert where foot hype is basically addressing, um, what's your name? Mayan, Zane, and you don't know foot hype. Never like certain things, what she do as it relates to her performance him say she look good she have you know a little fan base and all of that but when it comes to performing she don't know how to get the crowd attention and stuff like that you see my people so but not even not itch but just to get right into this part of the video so you can hear what foot of hype of say is it my you need to tell first you're not going to no more show till you have a hit sir. so two type of performances you have the performances that you go on stage because you have songs so you go and sing your songs and people like you because you singing your songs that they like. And then you have the next performance where you go on stage knowing that nobody knows your songs. But you have some song where you got DJ fit dig out forward out of the crowd. Mayan is not sure what she's doing. She's performing her songs as if they are songs that we are supposed to know. She's performing the songs like, yes, these are big hit songs. They are not. They are not. And this is what views and likes do to artists. Me nah disrespect Maya, you know. I am telling you, Una do the thing wrong. Maya look good. So her Viva go get all of her views. Maya look good. So she drop her video, it go look good. She a go, she's a fashionista, she dress up and thing. People are going to go over her Instagram, go follow her. So don't make the Instagram numbers fool you. Don't make the Viva views fool you. She nah, no, it sang me, brother. She don't have a it sang. So when you know, lie to the girl, and the people them around you know, lie to the girl, and she run out on her some face feeling like, she have these songs. She don't have none. So the whole 25,000 people I look on her like, okay, next. All right, my people. So we're in a thing. Gonna feel like some more. You need to find some more hit song. You understand our hit songs, I should I say. Um, 
Why am I not know? I know a lot of persons are going to say, oh, foot hype, a fight against young artists and things, but a lot of things where him say is actually facts still. You understand? I think a lot of these artists, them feel like them bigger than them really is. But at the end of the day, some people are going to say, well, I just confidence them have make them can do certain things. But you don't know. I feel like constructive criticism should always be welcome. And you don't know you can act off of certain things. I mean, no, say, boy, right now, maybe my and good old Vex with the foot hype, I say, yes, it. <laughs> Anyway, my people, let me know when you think about this in the comment section. And now I'm going to talk about a post where TJ Uptop Boss make, right, my people? Now, TJ Uptop Boss make a post saying that he actually took reggae sun face. You understand what I mean? Enough people feel that way, but as I say, some people feel like Massacre took the show based on his performance. And some people say Tommy Lee Sparta, because you know Tommy Lee Sparta, they close the show. Enough people did wait for see him because you can call it, say it was what, the return of Tommy Lee Sparta? Yeah, my people. People. But anyway, um, TJ Uptop Boss, he posted a TikTok video over on his Instagram page, right? And it was a video of his performance at Reggae Sun Fest. Now, the caption that was placed over the video said, Best performance of Reggae Sun Fest 2023 night one. Right, my people, and in the caption for that, TJ said, Don't even have time to argue about who took Reggae Sun Fest. I did this from my heart. I did this for my culture. Thanks to all who said TJ, straight haters, I don't need your comment or opinion. My fans like it, and I'm so pleased with giving the people a wonderful performance. Bless. Yes, yeah, my people, so TJ know him, no. Him know him go out there and did his best, and him know say all the people say him have the best performance. Him believe in himself. No, say him have the best performance as well. You understand what I mean, some people. So big up to TJ and more asking the people who don't feel like take night one. Yes, it. If you don't feel like say TJ take it, or only thing say yes, him do a good job, but him could have do something better and thing and thing. Yes, it. For time did even speak on it as well, my people. I'm not a fact. My mother just run a little piece of life here and thing and only can tell more anything. Yes, it. People, TJ realize. I want to listen to you, come on, listen to TJ realized it. the show stagnant, the crowd tough because of the lack of artists with hits. Then TJ changed himself. I know what God has come tell me, say, I don't change TJ, change himself because the man start with drift and then go. Must be hundred million dollars. Some of my biggest song them first are the smartest thing that you could have do TJ. TJ me give up million profit that anybody give that idea there. Move them up on your friend list. Sorry. Put them in your travel team. Them for their own you all the time. Anybody come in there, they say to myself, say, if I may a TJ I drift me, I start with you now. I that me there they are saying, cause you can't start your set on a slow pace now, you know. After this a blood clot, you are drag like like turkey, you know. You get a good performance, then you get four boring, then you get one good one. TJ smart, TJ anybody will tell you that. Please move them up on your friend list. Them for the close to you at all times. All of them tell you something you know, like listen to them. Cause them care for you. Them business boy your career. TJ start off the right way. 2023 Reggae Sum Fest. Female champion for night one is Gaza Slim aka Vanessa Bling. Reggae Sum Fest 2023 Male King is in my views none other than the one and only bad 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 vocalist TJ from Moby with the most compact performance last night work the crowd vocals and pint Deliver him sang them. Burn up the place. Overall, me get TJ. Him lose more. 
10 points for the close, but me still give 90% for him performance in delivery, him investing back in them craft, the way him deliver him sang them, the way him walk the stage, you know what I mean? All of that. So in a my views, in a my opinion, TJ take the show upon the male part last night. Yeah, man, big up to TJ, same way. That you have a far way for going at the business, and at least he's improving based on where he come from to where he's now. He might get better and better. So we know the sky's the limit as it relates to TJ up top boss. You see it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to jump over to night two, right, my people? And we have two people for talk about, which is Jada Kingdom, and also we have. Minister Marian Hall, formerly known as Lady Sa. We're going to actually talk about Minister Marian Hall first, right, my people? A lot of persons over upon social media right now, I said the woman, take it. You understand them? Say, she have the best performance for night two, hands down, no doubt about it. You understand me? I say, my people. And I think she did a great performance. You understand me? I say, I want to like with a lot of these entertainers, Zin, my people. Well, I guess them name entertainers for a reason. But she followed out there and she talked to the people. Them. You understand me? I say, and she gave a great performance. She talked about, you know, a woman who did give her a Bible and you know she explain how the Bible tear up so and yo trust me she go on with herself out there so big up to Minister Marian Hall formerly known as Lady Sir as me said me not said not one comment were negative me go through over the observer page and me go through the comments them scroll through them me go up on the star page scroll through them and I haven't I don't think me say one negative comment everybody has said big up to her and you know, a lot of persons just love the performance, you see it? And <laughs> Missy Futa I post one piece of performance when she um she basically I give it to Andrew Wolness. You understand me and some people. May I run that clip here and may I show you no know, <laughs> where Futa I post in the caption. Also Missy Andre Stevens post it on theme page as well. But watch this my people. You got your phone? Call him Missa. Who will ask me, sir? Who will ask me? Who will ask? Yeah, my people, so when Futa I post that <laughs> in the caption, him say, um, well, and oh, him say, Andrew Wallace, well, him tag Andrew Wallace and say, go kiss out a Bible, happy Sunday, is it? <laughs> Futa no easy, you know. Um, we even see dancehall artist Prado in the comment section and say, I swear, this the baddest female DJ till now, is it? So they must say, Minister Marian Hall are the baddest DJ, same way, baddest female DJ. I remember me telling you, Sir Andre Stevens did even post it. So, him tag Minister Marian Hall and him say, Thanks for always being honest. All who claim say obsession, put it this way. Me now go stop in the interest for a better Jamaica. If another Prime Minister come our government, I will be equally holding them to account. Call it psychosis, call it obsession, call it revenge, call it mentally deranged. But no label cannot keep me from achieving my mission for a better Jamaica. But remember this, until it reaches your door, family, business, community, etc. Is me, same one, getting the calls. Andre, help me to get justice. So me now stop. No retreat for a better Jamaica. So call him for me the sister Marianne. Him sure need holiness. <laughs> Boy, Andre, you know, easy, you know, youth. Hey, why well, you low Prime Minister Andre holiness, you know. <laughs> anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Jada Kingdom, my people, and like I say, a lot of persons are calling out Jada Kingdom for her performance at Reggae Sunfest Night 2. Now, one of the things that me can agree with, Zine, my people, and this is not this in Jada Kingdom or anything. This is just my personal opinion. I feel like say, Night 2, not Night 2, Night 1, them should have put Jada Kingdom on. I don't think she meshing with the Night 2 based on where she are wear. Zine and the, the type of people that they on night two, it just not, I don't know people, I feel like night one, I feel she. But anyway, 
based upon her appearance, a lot of persons never even take notice to the songs they must sing. All of the negative comments was about, well, they did have some people that said she can't perform and stuff, but, you know, most was about her clothing, where she have on and stuff like that. Zine, like me even say a person say, that's why her career in the reach now we're all now. Too much time watching her body and showing off than trying to find some good hit songs and learn how to tune up her voice. Kiss me teeth. Waste of talent that it's better she did go in at the porn industry. L-O-O-L. You see, so that person there laugh and I say, boy, Jada, I bet you go do some adult film and stuff like that. Somebody say, no substance, just body parts. Somebody say, um, well, that person has seem like... <laughs> That person had defend her. Them say everyone is saying she has no class. No class. The girl that in a school, which part in a dance hall class keep? Somebody say, I don't think her performance is great. I'm not going to lie. She needs lots of work on how to hold the crowd lyrically along with stage present. She dressed like that because she because it will help her with her performance. I watch her time and time again performs, and she will need to put in more work into it. Jada, it's time for a voice coach. She sound like she was in the crowd and get called up to sing. People will say, oh, she's good, but I really want y'all to take note and pay attention. She's not great. She can be great if she focus more on her vocal instead of the dolly house dressing. She's beautiful, but she's not ready for Sunfest. This is no hate. It's plain true. The crowd was dead. No vibe. Here's it. And all the comments, people. You understand? Somebody say, Tanya Stevens, Lady Sa, Lady G, Tamichin, Cecile have respect for their body. Where are the women who can be covered in nothing tight from neck to ankle and still look sexy and attractive? It's so sad and gloomy. Boy, oh boy, my people. So, I want to see comments. I never read no more. Let me know anything about Jada Kingdom attire. Let me know anything about her performance and thing is it. Um, yeah, leave it in the comment section. And that's it for the video. Now, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.